on top of the Yemen. My name is Raka and today I'm going to be playing Acceptance, uh, a game by, amongst others, uh, Lauren K. Thiel, uh, as she is known on Twitter. <coughs> uh, a person I greatly respect and I, I saw that she's made a game with some of the people that I don't know. I must be frank. But I want to give it a go and she kindly said yes to letting me play her game uh, and record it at least. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, but first I'm going to go ahead and um, tell you what I identify as. Um, I identify as, as he or him. Uh, and I'm a straight, straight old boring guy, very vanilla and stuff. I'm married to a woman and, well, yeah, um, but whatever floats your boat, uh, in my opinion, uh, I don't judge at all. So let's go ahead and start this, this game. Uh, warning, branches of the story may contain certain triggers. There are triggers for sexual assault and suicide within the story. This story is specially for you. Yes, you. As such, I need to ask you, the reader, a very important question before we start. Are you a man or a woman? I am a man. So you're a man? No, you're not. Okay. You might think you're a man. You might have always thought you were, you were a man. I'm sorry, but you're a woman. You are a woman, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you learn that fact. You will eventually give up. You will eventually resign yourself to your fate. You will eventually accept that you're at your core just as much of a woman as you look like to the rest of us. You will accept that you're the woman the world tells you that you are. Okay. You look in the mirror. The mirror, uh, the face in front of you is not your own. You see a woman with soft, curvy features who would probably be considered cute or pretty by most standards. If you'd only kept that long hair. You see a woman, you do not see yourself. You feel unbelie an unbelievable disconnect between the woman facing you in the mirror and the very core of yourself. She's not ugly as such, but she's not you. She couldn't be further from you. You couldn't feel further apart from each other. I guess it's time to face the day. You proceed with your daily routine. Head to the bathroom for a quick shower, avoiding all those feminine scented products you've yet to throw out and settling for a clean soap. Drying yourself off, you venture back to your room to start. The morning binder dance. Hip wiggling, occasionally jumping in the routine. Trying to force two large breasts under three layers of medical grade compression or I won't say wrap, but after a few minutes of crunching, adjusting, and tending to a part of the chest that still looks like a woman's, the rest of getting dressed for pink lights. You dig through last night's bed and distract the passes for a pattern device. Something to make you feel you have something. Frankly, I couldn't tell the difference if I saw someone dressed like this. Oh well. <sighs> okay. Well. Uh. No. Continue. You decide to head out for the day. <laughs> if it was a cinema in town, bring a single showing of your favorite film, Curse of the Golden Flower. You couldn't possibly miss it. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. It's early in the morning. Curse of the Golden Flower, which you couldn't possibly miss in all its huge green glory. Now I just need a ticket. Can I help you? One piece. So 
go on the wall. Uh, I don't. That would be cool fast then. Grab a drink and some popcorn, head in, carving yourself a great seat. And now I really need the bathroom. If you don't mind missing a few minutes of the film. You know it inside out anyways. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna kiss some of the most curious I guess. feel like some un kind of undercover spy in here in the worst possible way if you'd like any minute them to make a mistake and blow your cover you have every reason to be in here but others don't seem to feel that way ah. so remember what's with you what the fucking queer in here I don't want him staring at me oh shite how how? I'm in the store. Fuck you, dude. This isn't going to go as smoothly as you'd hope. Another store door is open, and one of the dogs is suddenly looking down at you. He squints at you as you're adjusting your packet and binder. Hey, yo. Ain't you a girl? What the fuck are you doing in here? Oh, I might. I'm not a girl. You attempt to grumble at him, but your words doesn't quite match up with the flame. He laughs. Seemingly reassured you're not a threat. Get out of here, love. This ain't your bathroom. Fucking idiot birds. Can't even tell which is which. Maybe she wants some company. Who knows? And I'm gone. safe, no fighting happens when you do you don't want to stay worthy. You keep feeding up, being right with the sticks to the door. I can fucking imagine. Fuck off, no, continue. You've had enough after the bathroom, you need to go to the bathroom. You're fed up, a bit stressed. You decide you'd rather get some exercise and work off those emotions than wallow in them. Okay. Go swimming or go to the Gym. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's. Yeah. Let's go to the gym. Decide to head home with both. Go to the gym. So later, you arrive at the gym, already in your workout clothes. You're in a pair of baggy tracksuits, a sports bra with a binder over the top, and a baggy t-shirt. You've packaged a bag baggy hoodie as well, just in case. session with a boxing class. Maybe having a fight with a punching bag will help take your mind off the way things are going today. You head into the class and begin to attack the punching bag, noticing the occasional stare back at you. Not sure why, you continue your tracks. Okay, this is a little weird. More and more people are looking your way. Finally, someone speaks up. Uh, you know this is a men's only class, right? What the fuck is a men's only class? I've never heard of such a fucking thing, if I'm honest. Never mind. Um, yeah, of course. Then, uh, why are you still here? Well, fuck you, dude. Sit on this. 
It hits you. You forgot. Yep. You forgot that in spite of the fact that you're male, you have always thought yourself as male and never considered yourself anything but male. The world disagrees with you. You're not welcome here. It's a bit too late to switch into something that makes your gender pre presentation more obvious. So you just turn on it. Today has been a bit of a waste. Maybe you just try to salvage it from here. Continue. Want to go home? Question is, do you head home to busy your way through the high street? Must be taking longer, but that's what it is. You're trying to avoid more issues. Um, the high street. Universe is congratulated you had an easy day today. As you're walking on the house down the high street, you notice a vague feeling of dizziness accompanied with shortness of breath. Carry on walking, trying to breathe deeply against the binding. You're at a ten steps later. Sneezing next to you. Ugh, hang on. Are you okay? Can you breathe alright now? You fainted in the middle of the street. Uh, okay, what happened to my uh, vest? I had to cut it open to help you breathe easier. I'm so sorry for you. assumptions about your true gender that people make when they see or hear that name. Hate. I'm, I'm guessing that should be hate instead of have. Uh, you've decided to head home before the ambulance arrives. You just want to go home. Oh, fuck. fuck off. I'll never give up. Damn it. You're done. Today's too much for you. You can't get through another day like this. It's just not an option. You grab a few packets of pills and swallow them blindly and lie in bed, tears running down your face. You awake in a panic. You're alive and somewhat glad for this. You head to the hospital. to give in and accept that you're a woman just because you keep being told you are one. You don't want to have to be scared in general everyday life. The doctors quickly see you and give you some kind of medication they claim was to counter your what you took. You know it's a lie. You know it's going to make you throw up.
hopefully tomorrow will be better. Hopefully in this hard world I can just live my life. I certainly hope so too. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh man. This is one of the reasons why I fucking hate people. Just in general. Because of assumptions. And th this game was pr is pretty much just as I imagined it would be like to be a trans um be transgendered um i i have a friend who uh identifies as trans uh oh well not identifies as trans but is trans and i imagine from what he has told me uh that this is just how it is. Uh, he's lucky he lives where he does because people are generally more accepting where he lives in the world. Um, but there's always problems, always. And from my knowledge of of this, and of all the people that I have ever heard of, this is what it's like. Thank you, Lauren, for making this game, and along with your friends, uh, I'm going to well, I'm going to link this uh, this game in the description box, so you can download it and play it yourself. If um, if somebody ever sees this, uh, I hope they do. So yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks again, Lauren. Really, this. Uh, this is something that's needed. Alright. Bye.